No, I think that I think there are a number of books that I find it very remarkable that they were banned, and so they're significant, but they're not terribly significant to me in having changed the course of my life through my reading them. Uh, I mean, to, to, to give a crazy example, I was so pleased to find that in 1941, that's relatively late, uh, the Nazis banned an author who was a member of my family, who was my father's uncle Fritz. Uh, in 1941, they not only banned all his books, but they banned it with a special additional Zusätzliches Verbot. So you know, he obviously wrote some pretty, uh, or stuff that they found pretty offensive. And uh, this interested me because I was delighted, a member of the family, but I didn't know he'd ever written anything. So I got in touch with, his, uh, with one of his daughters who is living in Israel, aged over 100, and she said, but my father never wrote a book in his life. And I said, but did you know that he, all his, his Zemtliche Schriften were banned. And she said, no, that doesn't make any sense. And then she got back to me, she said, you know, I just realized in order to get his doctorate in Hamburg, he had to publish a dissertation. So I'll send you a copy of that. So that is in the collection. <laughs> a work of no literary merit. <laughs>
idiocy, forget about wickedness, but this the idiocy of uh, the Nazi attempt at sort of cultural censorship and some of the absurd um, uh, bannings and burnings that resulted. Uh, so, memorial. <laughs>